Hello Hylians! Inventory slot transfer is a glitch in Breath of the Wild that can make you do many things in the game. It can allow you to get the bow of light, you can easily duplicate materials, you can get weapons that have attack over 200 or shields that have shield guard over 200, you can get bows that shoot 10 arrows and even get a shield that has zero friction. And there's so much more in this glitch and at this time of making this video they're still discovering new things. This glitch is very complicated. I'm gonna to try to simplify it so normal people can understand it. So maybe you've watched the video on the glitch and you're here to understand how it works, or maybe you heard of it and you wanna know what it does, or maybe you just like my videos and you're here to watch it. So to be clear, I'm going to explain and simplify how the glitch works overall. So I'm not gonna specifically teach how to duplicate materials or get the bow of light or add modifiers to weapons or things like that. But once I was able to understand the things that I'm going to tell you, doing those specific glitch became easier to understand. With that said, the channel I recommend going to is El Duende 5 He is basically the only one really covering this glitch that I know of uh, and he's doing a good job so I would say go check it out to make sure you can see how to do those specific things. And the very last thing I want to say before I explain anything, if you've done the glitch and you pretty much understand it well, uh, feel free to leave comments in the comment section explaining some tips and tricks that you did because it can be very confusing and we would appreciate it, of course. And if you have questions, also ask them in the comments. Maybe your comments might not be replied to, but also maybe they will. I think I have a nice community, so I think they'll do it. The first thing I would like to mention, it said that this glitch can corrupt your file, all right? Just know that yes, it can corrupt your file, but if you close the game completely and you open it again, everything will go back to normal. So after you do the glitch and things mess up, just don't save it. If you mess up, something bad happens, close the game and everything will be back to normal. Next, I want you to realize you actually have multiple save files, not just one. When you go to your load screen in normal mode, you'll see your manual save and then you'll see multiple auto saves. And if you're playing master mode, you have one manual save and then you have one auto save. Yes, these are two separate files with just multiple saves, but I want you to kind of consider them as separate files just for now. It'll make sense later. So let's keep that in mind and we're going to leave that off to the side. So to do this glitch, we're going to use one of these saves and let's put that over here in the middle. Let's call this save A. So on this file, we're gonna do a few functions and a little, a little glitch combination, and we're gonna create what's called an offset. An offset is basically a number. The game will keep this imaginary number until you completely close the game. This is why you can do this glitch between multiple files in your game, uh, through master mode, through normal mode, and even a new game that you start. After we create this offset, the items in the inventory of file A can then be moved to file, let's call it file B. All you have to actually do is load file B and that's it. So from here, again, the offset is still on. So if you're on file B and you open another file, file B's stuff will go into that file. Does that make sense? You're with me? If you need to pause, rewind, do it. It's confusing, but I think I'm doing a good job. Thumbs up, if so. Thumbs down, don't do it. All right, so that's the general way of how IST works. But let me now explain how to specifically choose which items go into from file A to file B. So we're gonna think about it like the game will transfer one item at a time from in the inventory, starting from the right of the inventory. So it would transfer the key items first, and then the meals, and then the materials, and so on, depending on what you have. For example, this file from the right of the items are the Ancient Saddle, Traveler Saddle, Traveler's Bridle, Korok Seeds, Spirit Orbs, and so on. If I create an offset of three, the first three items from the right are the Saddles and the Bridle. So when I load another file, even if it's a new file, I will have those three items. Again, the offset won't turn off until I close the game. So the first three items starting from the right, I have the slate and the two saddles. So even if I switch to this normal mode file where I'm still on the great plateau,
It will add just the two saddles because a link can't have more than one Sheikah slate. So like I mentioned before, this is a simple way of explaining how the glitch works. So why is it complicated? How do we duplicate materials, get the bow of light, and add modifiers to weapons? First of all, it's complicated because of the, some of the functions you have to do. You have to overload the menu, which by now isn't that difficult. Then you have to create an offset, and the offset can take a while, and you have to keep track, and you have to count and do numbers, and who really wants to do math? And there are consequences for doing it wrong. For example, this file, if you want to transfer all the key items and this meal, just because, I need to create an offset of eight. This is because I have seven items and the next eighth item would be this meal. After I create the offset, let's say I want to transfer all these things back to the same file. You can do that. All I have to do is reload this file again. Notice how it transferred the Korok seeds and the spirit orbs. Now I have two stacks of them and you cannot get rid of these unless you use them. Or you can use them before doing the glitch so they don't get transferred. The good news, the items that can't be stacked, like the slate, the paraglider, saddles, they will get transferred but they will just replace the ones you have so you won't get duplicates of those. And the other kind of good news is that there is a way to prevent duplicating the spirit orbs and Koroks, but those take some extra steps. So if you want to transfer materials, all you have to do is create a large enough offset to transfer all the key items, possibly the meals, and whichever materials you want duplicated, starting from the right of the inventory, of course. The other option is to delete or use all the meals so you don't have to transfer the meals, and you can also create a smaller offset. Example, if I want to transfer these giant ancient cores, I have to get rid of all my meals and then create an offset of at least 26. So that way I can take all my key items because there are 25 key items, five on the right page and 20 on the first page key items. And then the giant ancient cores are the 26th item. From here, I'll create the offset of 26. Then I would reload this file again and then I would duplicate the giant ancient cores. I can now create an auto save so I don't mess up my main save. Then I can transfer the giant ancient cores again to that auto save. And now I have more giant ancient cores. I can do this a lot until I get the amount I want, then I could finally add it to my main save if I wanted to. However, because I have Korok seeds, it may become a mess, but then again, like I said, that's for another video. Okay, now the way to duplicate weapons, bows, and shields, like the Bow of Light or the Master Sword, you basically create an offset large enough, again that takes time and involves math, but large enough to cover all the key items. You don't have to cover the meals and the materials because you can just delete those. And then the equipment, you can also delete that and then create enough offset to cover the key items all the way up to the shields and or bows and or weapons. However, the problem for this one is that there are equipment that you cannot sell. So those equipment will get duplicated and you'll be stuck with them and they'll take up slots on the inventory. Again, there are ways to do this, but like I said, I'm so sorry I'm making you do this, but you should watch another video, but I just want to explain how it works. And finally, the coolest part of this glitch is adding modifiers to weapons. Explaining to you this is kind of weird. You have to create 60 meals, and the last meal's effects will transfer onto the weapon bow or shield, which will then translate into attack up, guard up, shield surf up, or durability up, 10 shot into one of those things, which is kind of like weird to say. But also again, you have to create enough offset, which again takes a while for the key items and the meals, and then up to the shields and bows or whatever you wanna do. Again, as of making this video, there's a lot of experimenting happening right now. You can go to El Duende's Discord or his uh, YouTube channel, and I think there's almost infinite things that you could do with this. Like I said, there's a lot to this glitch, so I thought it was really important to do this part of understanding the glitch as a whole first. Well, now I hope you kind of understand what inventory slot transfer is. 
now go have fun. See you next time.